digital romance TV. Hey folks, it's Michael Fiore from digitalromance.tv and today's topic is how to ask for what you want in bed. How to ask what you want in bed. Uh, how yes. to ask what you what you want for for what you want in, in bed. bed. Yes. How's that? Uh, wonderful. It, the four right. was not in here. I was trying. Great. Okay. No, this it is actually is. a big topic. And this is Nora, by the way. I forgot to introduce her. Hey. Uh, she can't talk today. <laughs> she, she used all her words. And she, all my uh, words have been used up. The main thing, um, it bothers me that this is actually a topic in the first place because it should be. Ideally, it would be you would have open communication with your partner where you feel like you can actually say that kind of thing. I have had plenty of relationships, including very long-term ones, where that is not the case. So why? Um, I think it came from a place of, uh, at the beginning, of being swept up in the, uh, the heat of it. Yep. And then never backtracking and getting to a point where you trusted enough in the force of that or the um, depth of that to take it to a, a mind place of let's talk about these things. Yes, totally. I think a lot of people, uh, especially at the beginning, you don't need to ask what you want in bed because what you're right. getting is enough. At that sure. Point. You have so many endorphins going. Yep. You've got so much. Everything Everything that this person does is sexy. And yep. like, if they're not touching you in exactly the way you want to be touched, that's totally okay. Um, when you get further into a relationship, there's that fear of rejection and that fear of criticism yes. or that fear of being judged. Where you're like, right. oh, if I ask you to spank me on the butt a little bit or whatever else, you're right. going to get, or you know, put on a ball gag or whatever else is going to get going to get weird. To me, the way you actually have that conversation though is uh, by giving praise for what's already going on yes. and then asking for more on top of it. Yes. Right? You don't do it by saying you're touching me wrong, because that'll actually make every guy lose his heart on and every girl start crying. Basically, it should be a bad idea. But instead, you bring up what you're enjoying and then add on to it sure. as well. Um, or sure, you just sure. kind of can even like grab some, take somebody's hand and gently move it to where you want it to kind of go. Sure. But you give positive feedback the entire time, right? Right. Uh, but the main thing again is like if you don't want to scare your partner, you've got to come at it from a positive standpoint. Praise who they are. You don't use the criticism sandwich, as they say, which I forget where I got that. But you basically say, here's what I really love about what you do. I would love it if you would try this as well. And again, give them more praise on top of that as well. Yeah. Right? Um, or if you're with a, um, if you're a guy like with a woman, Praise how sexy she looks when you're doing this. Tell her about a fantasy you have about her right. that is 10% closer to where you actually want to go. Sure. Right. And then ideally, if you have a really good relationship, you can sit down and actually just talk and say, hey, I've always wanted to try being tied up. I've always wanted to try this kind of thing. I've wanted to try this kind of thing, whatever it's going to be. And you can play with it in a safe place. But in the actual context of sex, I always find that more gentle kind of thing works better. Yes. Yeah. Anything else to add? I think that's it. Okay. Well, if you want more of this kind of thing, please go to digitalromance.tv. And um, yeah, please click subscribe. Do it. You'll really, seriously, no, right now. Right. You done? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. If you've got a cell phone in your pocket or purse right now, then you've got everything you need to create incredible romance and passion with the man or woman in your life at the push of a button. Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash TRB to see Michael Fiore make an entire audience of women in the Rachel Ray show swoon and learn how to use tiny little text messages to have the relationship of your dreams.